Welcome to Breakout. So it's spring. I'm thinking spring break, and I'm thinking Fed gone wild, right? They're dabbling in the Forex markets for the first time in a decade. Hey, not that. You can't keep these guys chained to just one market. Last week, they also demanded, that is to say, they allowed some of the banks that were under TARP to begin buying back stock and raising their dividends. It's the kind of thing that drives free marketeers like us, and not to mention Jim Rogers absolutely nuts. Let's take a look. Jim, how is uh, QE2 quantitative easing uh, going to end? Well, it's going to end with higher interest rates, higher inflation, lower uh, U.S. dollar, currency turmoil. It's going to end very badly for all of us. I mean, it's a disaster what they're doing. The good news is that they're making so many mistakes that it ultimately will mean the demise of the Federal Reserve. And we'll finally get rid of the central bank in the United States. Dare to dream. In the meantime, <laughs> and I'm not sure we can do this, but I believe as stock commenting guys, we have the power to choose the next Fed chair. I just chose you. What is the best strategy we can do for the smart guys? Close the Federal Reserve. So you just shut it down on day one? Yes, look, we've had three central banks in U.S. history. The first two disappeared. This one's going to disappear, too. Between Greenspan and Bernanke, they make so many horrendous mistakes. Three years ago, the U.S. central bank had $800 million of government bonds on its balance sheet. Now it's got, who knows, maybe $3 trillion of garbage and junk, and they continue to add more to the to more leverage more money m money in circulation more currency i mean this is a disaster for all of us look without a central bank the world has problems but the world doesn't have as many problems as this central bank is imposing on us as well, American citizens and on the world. Let's say this. Let's say the the Ben Bernanke and the current central bank folded up shop tomorrow the problems don't go away they're still there well, fine, I agree, but right now what we have was problems in the central bank throwing gasoline onto a fire. Mm. At least somebody's got to try to put the fire out. If we didn't have a central bank, we could start figuring out how we're going to put the fire out. These guys are just stoking the fire. So when Ben Bernanke says he has the tools uh, ready to go uh, to get out, to extract himself from the situation, your reply to him? Oh, please, you're bad for my nervous system. Come on, the man has never been right. Could you go back? I mean, there are people doing studies of everything he said since in the six or eight years he's been in Washington. The man's never been right about anything. Why do you guys even listen? I guess you have to because you're the media. But he's never. The only right thing I would pay attention to Bernanke for is as a contrary indicator. He Dave, has never been right. One of the big um, underpinnings for this rally, this doubling of the stock market, sure we've given some back uh, from the highs earlier in the year, uh, is uh, the, you know, the Fed money pouring in. We've had people say that as soon as that stops, we could see um, the S&P 500 give back 20 percent quickly. I mean, is the equity market gains domestically in the U.S., are they that closely uh, linked to uh, the, the Fed pouring money into the bond market? Well, the U.S. pouring money has certainly had an effect. When lots and lots of money sloshing around, it's got to go somewhere, whether it goes into stocks or bonds or currencies or commodities or shorts, it's got to go into somewhere. So, yes, it's got a big effect. The problem with that scenario is everybody expects it to happen. So usually what happens is something else happens because people are geared up expecting that to happen. I, I would not be surprised if something else happened. But the stock market needs to have a rest. I mean, yeah. you pointed out it doubled in two years. Mm. That's not normal. But people argue, uh, Jim, they'll say, well, geez, the earnings are strong and growing. Uh, and on a relative basis versus pouring money into treasuries, stocks look good. Well, I certainly wouldn't pour money into treasuries. You asked before about my wish and my, my, my expectations list. I'm gearing up to short the U.S. Treasury again. Yes, stocks have been great. But I would remind you that margins, profit margins in the U.S., are at the right. highest they've been in 18 years. Yeah. Now, when you have something that's the highest in 18 years, it usually doesn't get much better. It might get some better, but not a whole lot. So what, what's the, what is there to look forward to? Well, not that, very much. Maybe a decline in your short positions. You're short the NASDAQ. Is that just across the board on the entire kind of NASDAQ complex? Or are there specific areas of the NASDAQ that you're particularly bearish on? I'm short the uh, technology ETFs. I'm, I'm short the ETFs are wonderful these days. You can do a lot very easily and very quickly. And, and I, when I was looking for things as hedges, the emerging markets and the, the NASDAQ um, uh, technology stocks were the ones that have gone up the most. That's where the biggest successes are. That's why I shorted there. And one final question, Jim, if, you, if we can clarify. You had mentioned you're short the emerging markets as well. That's actually uh, been working out well for you. Does that story turn around and change and you get long uh, again the emerging markets? 
Well, I, I said before, you know, I'm, I'm watching what's happening and, and expecting to act sometime. If the markets keep collapsing, then, of course, I'm going to have to cover my shorts. So, yes, I may well be covering my shorts this time next week, this time tomorrow, this time next month. I, I don't know. I don't know how things will evolve. But it's clear that there's been a major collapse in emerging markets. And usually when things collapse, you should go the other way. Fantastic. Jim Rogers, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Terrific. My Thank pleasure. You. My pleasure. Good luck with the show.